10,300 pounds, which, uh, considering the fact that this has four slides, two living room slides, kitchen slide, and bedroom slide out, that is, that is a pretty fair weight. This is hands down, I think, the best kept Paradise Point I've ever seen. And you know, I've been doing this a long time now, literally a dozen years. There's things that I've just learned to kind of look for or smell for. And one of the, that's kind of what I'm getting at here. This RV's clean. It smells clean. Uh, it doesn't smell like musty old stuff. It doesn't smell like people. You know, sometimes there's a little lingering scent of human beings around in an RV. It looks good. This is all new uh, linoleum, by the way. You can kind of see the little trim work around like some of the fixtures there, but they put all new lino down, which is nice. And I'll always try to shoot you straight. If I see something, I say something. Um, and I hate to kind of start the video this way, especially because it is it is such an eyesore, but that shade has seen better days. It could be restrung. It's not stuck that way indefinitely. The rest of them look pretty good. Overall, the RV looks pretty good. Uh, I'm very happy with the overall shape, condition, cleanliness of it. Like I said, I am not seeing spots where like, ooh, the sink leaked and we tried to hide it. I don't see any problems. The only problem I see with this RV is that it's in our driveway and not yours. Now keep in mind, it is a couple years old. It is not in absolutely flawless condition. That's not how I'm trying to represent it. I'm saying that for the year of the RV, for its age, it's in tremendous shape. Traditional inner spring kind of hide a bed over there, by the way. And look at the size of the windows surrounding that. You see the same thing over here in the super slide. Classic rear entertainment. And I tell you what I like about that. Something that helps this actually integrate very nicely in today's market. That little mini desk space to the left over there. Bring yourself a little folding chair. And this is this is actually made when RV builders still put household telephone jacks and wiring in this. Wow, it's crazy how things have changed. A little electric space heat and Tootsie Toaster. You see the electronics in this have been upgraded a bit, like you've got flat screens here, as well as you'll see uh, another one up in the uh, bedroom when we get there. Those are certainly not the original chairs. Those are probably nicer than the original chairs would be, those free-floating swivel rockers. The TV can pivot, by the way. The TV's not flat-mounted into that rear entertainment center, so you don't have to do any kind of insane you know, neck cranking that requires a chiropractor to straighten out or anything like that. And one of the things about this, actually, this is the same floor plan that my parents had for a long time in a fifth wheel. And my mother is just a fantastic campsite cook. She she loves doing it. She loves cooking for people. And the fact that this has a dedicated kitchen slide and all that counter space, she loved it because a lot of storage and a lot of prep space and it's a easy way for us to like leave her alone. But what's cool is she was still kind of in the mix over here you know what i mean thing is this has a lot of cabinet space i want to get you a good look at that real fast before we go upstairs and when i say a lot i mean like a lot a lot you might need a two or three step stool to get to some of this i would need a two or three step stool to get some of this i'm pretty tall when i was young i was always tall my mom would take me to the grocery store just so i could reach stuff on the the top shelves but I always knew going shopping with mom meant a stop to McDonald's on the way home. And uh, give me those nuggets and that orange high C, man. That was my thing when I was a kid. And frankly, you wouldn't have to twist my arm too awful hard to get me to make a trip to McD's and get some nuggets and high C right now. <laughs> and every bit of that peninsula is storage, by the way. Even that corner that we can't get to from here it opens up from the other side, and look at that perfect little space for a wastebasket. And I was going to say, holy crap, look at the storage in this bathroom, but uh, something about that seems poorly phrased to me. Maybe it's just me. But speaking of holy crap, holy crap, that is a big skylight above that shower. And that that's kind of another indicator. There are things in this RV that make it very current even in today's market. Like that giant skylight is nice. An actual sliding pocket door here for the bedroom. Most fifth wheels when this was made had curtains or accordion doors if you were lucky, you know. This is 50 amp service, so it is second air ready. No second air was actually pretty common at the time this was built. And look at that just massive Cyclops window, ventilating window above the bed right there. 
big luxury fifth wheels like Montana's are only kind of starting to do it. Not that big. Look at that thing. Now, that shade over there obviously needs restrung. And uh, I don't... Th that is not a normal, like, camper king. I th think that might be a little bit bigger even than a California. That might be a true residential king. If you're curious about that, give us a shout. We will uh, get you some measurements on it for sure. Once again, a couple little electronicified updates here, like the TV up there in that corner entertainment center as I travel trailer two step my way over here. Give you a look at that dresser and a matching big window straight across from this bedroom. Like I said, this thing's a little older, but it is still very nicely equipped and very current, I think. To It's got features of an RV that are a lot younger. I'll, I guess that's what I'm saying. Now, when we began, I mentioned this is the best kept Paradise Point I've ever seen, and I mean that. And I think a lot of it is because it is, you know, it was stored indoors. It was stored away from the weather. The decals show no signs of cracking. I've never seen a Paradise Point whose nose cap, that decal didn't look like uh, it was a cracked desert floor. The uh, You've got slide awnings that all look fantastic. The main awning looks good. The skin is gleaming. This was kept extremely well. Enclosed heated belly, for the time this was built, very good weather package. Uh, an early adopter of an enclosed privatized docking system, way before that was cool. Uh, man, I tell you, Crossroads, I think, was almost too far ahead of their time on a lot of things. Because uh, there were some really nice high-class features they were doing that are still being adopted by manufacturers now. And you see the groups like Crossroads were doing it a long, long time ago. Like that nice drop frame storage compartment right there. Some good, good stuff going on. Looks like maybe some slight flame outs going on on the uh, water heater, but that is a larger 10 gallon vessel, by the way. What's also interesting, somehow there's that thing of like how like-minded folks attract one another. Well, the uh, I think only one of the Paradise Points I've seen has not had what I'm about to show you. If you look back here, this not only has, it looks like a towing hitch added onto it, but you see the two extra kind of accessory looking things next to it. That is highly suggestive of the fact that this RV probably had at one point a motorcycle mount and or lift on the back. So there's a very interesting correlation between Paradise Point owners and motorcycle users, which uh, I find very, I don't know, fascinating, I suppose. And by the way, all power jacks, which was a very rare feature to find on RVs built during this period. A lot of times you found the power front leveling jacks, but you're still cranking them back. So even the rears on this are power. So overall, pretty good looking. Uh, if you have any other questions, give our team here at Advantage One RV a call. You know, we'll shoot you straight, get you, you know, answers, hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer, package deals, RV delivery, or anything else in between. And short of that, take care, stay safe, have fun. And happy Halo Camp at everyone.